welcome back to the channel. So today I'm just doing um, one of the walks on the Staffordshire Moorland walks. Um, it's Brown Edge. It's a circular walk, it's about six miles. Um, it doesn't normally start until Brown Edge, but I've come to this point on the canal where it starts. So I'm going to walk up to Narpersley from here. I am on my bike as well. New bike for the year. So I'm going Head up there, I don't know what terrain's like, so if it's alright, I'll ride it, if not, I'll walk it. So yeah, I'll catch up there in it Napa Slip Pool. I'll catch you in a bit, guys. Peace. Guys, so I'm almost at Narpersley Pool. I've just got a little challenge ahead of me first, though. If you can see them right there, there's about 500 blooming stairs. So, yeah, I'm gonna crack on, get up there, and I'll come back to you in a minute. Hi guys, so we're at Narpersley now. Yeah, it's the first time I've ever been here. It's the very large lake. Um, yeah, I've got mud on my face because kind of ran my bag a bit quick and it splattered up and hit me like in the glasses. So yeah, I'll wipe that off in a minute now. So yeah, I'm just going to have a brew. I'll show you some the scenes around here. The route so far has been alright, apart from the fields being a bit muddy. They're in a good mood. So yeah, um, the route's been fine. Um, way markers have been bob on. I haven't had to use the OS app, map, app on my phone. So, that's all right. So yeah, I'll have a brew. And I'll catch up in a minute. Peace out guys.
guys. I'm back on the trail, so that was an Arpersley Reservoir. Just showing you, I'm walking up to Marshes Hill Common now. It's the Gore Trek Point up there. If you look just in the distance, you can just see it. So we can walk up there now, have another break because this hill, dear. I tried to ride up it, but it wasn't happening. So yeah, um, three miles into the walk, so I'll go up to there now, chill out for a bit, have some dinner up there, because I think it's that time I need something to eat. Two seconds. So yeah, I'll get up there, I'll have something to eat at the trick point. I'll show you some of the views from up here. You won't be able to see much because it's overcast, it's been raining for about an hour now. So, so yeah, well, I'll catch you up there guys. Peace out. So the pocket rockies. So we're gonna do we're gonna make it down so the water bar will go through. I'll catch you down there and do the cooking down there. I'll catch you a bit guys. Out guys, so I'm just walking through tin Tinster Wood um, to try and find somewhere to sit to have something eat, but it's not looking promising at the moment. Um, so hopefully, I can bring you back shortly if I find somewhere and have something eat. I've just got some super noodles with me, but. At this rate, I won't be eating until I get home. I'm not far from home, don't get me wrong. I'm only a few miles um, away from home, but it's just uh, wet on the foot, so I can't see where to have something to eat. So I'll bring you back in a minute, guys, if I find somewhere. If not, I'll, I'll come back to you shortly. I'll catch you in a bit, guys. Right guys, so I found somewhere to sit, to chill and have something neat. Oh, what a walk. Some amazing views from where I am. Oh, five miles. Look at these views. So yeah, just going to chill here for a bit now. Have something neat, have a brew, kind of Red Bull. Then, 
head off back through the woods, hopefully. And through back through Stockton Brook, back onto the canal. Then what I'll do, I'll catch up with you. It where I started the route and I'll talk to you then and I'll tell you what I think about the route and and stuff like that. So yeah, I'll catch you in a bit guys. Peace out. I'm back at where I started. Um, about 6.2 miles I've done. Um, so yeah, it's been a good one. So let me recap on the walk. It's a good walk, don't get me wrong. The way markers uh, are there. Um, I struggled a bit when I come to the up to Tinster Wood. Coming through there, it was a bit thingy because there's paths going all the way everywhere. So I didn't really end up in um, the marshes as well. Marshes Hill struggled there a little bit. Um, would I recommend coming with a bike? Nope, because <laughs> it's a bit, it's a bit much when you have to carry it over fences and gates and whatnot. So maybe you leave your bike at home if you ever decide you want to do it. Um, well, I just want to come back in the summer, do it again without the bike. Um, I'm going to try and get some things planned, hopefully I can get some stuff planned with Phil from UK Cycling Adventures or something like that. Adventure Cycling UK I think. Charles cool, I get more of up. So hopefully I can get some stuff sorted with Phil. Um, that'll be riding based. Um, hopefully some wild camps in the year as well. Um, I know I've got... Um, something planned in May with Dave and Lindsay and a couple of other people in uh, May Bank Holiday uh, so yeah right then I'm gonna leave you here if you enjoyed the video smash the like button um, drop a sub on the channel um, very much appreciated so yeah I'll catch you on the next video guys peace